Hello, my Aquarius. Welcome back. All right, you know the deal. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below. I also, in the description box, have my astral breakdown chart and my compatibility breakdown chart. These will take your birth dates, it, you, you know, just yours, or if you're dealing with another person, and analyze the planets, the degrees, what that means for you, what that means for this connection, if that's good or bad. So yes, that's something there if you're interested. Moving on towards you, um, what I was getting in the pre-shovel, there's definitely a connection. Could could be dealing with a Gemini. I kept seeing the lovers card come out. Um, a lot of error though and fire energy, but I am feeling like whoever it is that you're dealing with, I feel like they're smaller than you. I don't know if this is younger or just like physically smaller, but they're quite fiery. And if, you know, if communication was stagnant, I just feel like this is not a new person, somebody that you've known for a while. If communication was stagnant, I see a balance coming up. Um, a little bit more so, getting getting more movement flowing, or I just keep wanting to say communication, speaking. Yeah, so that's what I'm picking up. Other than that, I'm not really getting a whole lot for you. I don't really know what they're trying to communicate. Um, universe, show me what messages for Aquarius, please. Messages for Aquarius. Whoops. Good messages for Aquarius. You could have several options or opportunities available to you, or you will have them upcoming up in the next four months or so, I would say. And um, you need to decide which one is going to be best for you, which path you want to take, what strategy. I'm just really seeing you kind of taking this time to reflect and see which one <clears throat> is better for you. Now, I do feel as if somebody needs to express something to you, which could help aid you in your decision. What else is going on for Aquarius, please? Yeah, I'm getting a very creative individual. Or somebody trying to express what they want. It's going to take them a lot of strength to tell you. So keep that in mind, especially if this is a child or something. I'm just feeling like they've thought a lot about this. So they may need your help figuring this out. What else for Aquarius, please? Yeah, there's a change coming here, and you may feel a little bit, I don't know, uh, you may not see the potential new offer that waits on the other side. You may have anxiety in regards to a decision, or you will upcoming here, but I do see something is brewing that you, that, like a message, something's gonna come in that you don't see quite yet, but it's been brewing for a while, this person has been thinking about this for a while. I'm just hearing anxiety in a decision and a choice. So what path is the better one? They say though, just to follow your intuition, you do know. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is a little bit confusing, but I already did it for like half of the other signs, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I'm going to go all the way from Leo to Cancer and just take a peek into each sign if, if you're dealing with one of those, what's going on, okay? So, all right, Aquarius, universe, show me the signs that Aquarius is dealing with, the truth and what's going on with these signs, please, Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. Aquarius and Leo, please. Forward movement, okay, let's see, where are we going? Okay, so um, forward movement into birthing and creating something new together, there is potential here, especially, you know, I like this energy sort of, this could be, um, somebody could, there could be a pregnant person involved in this, doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing forward movement towards an abundant direction, but it's a little bit unsure if this is romantic or you're just working together of, over something. Um, Aquarius and Virgo, please. 
<clears throat> um, well, this is a soulmate, and there could be a lot put into this. A lot of time, strength, endurance. I'm seeing building here. Um, yeah, so this is a, a, an abundant connection. I am feeling like there's something toxic, though. It's not really showing me that, but it could be something that's felt because that's what I'm feeling like, even though it looks like, okay, this is a soulmate. I do see the connection. You could have been married to this person, whatever, but it feels like something's not quite right. Um, Aquarius and Libra, please. There's uh, somebody's. There could be another person involved affecting a decision. There could be things that this person hides from you. Who who are we doing? A Libra? Yeah. Um, they may passionately want to go towards someone else or a different direction. All right. Aquarius and Scorpio, please. Aquarius and Scorpio. Okay, this is way too many cards. Aquarius. Okay. Oh. I'm seeing two people going opposite directions. So they could, I would say that it's possible there could be some wish fulfillment here, but I feel like it would be more, um, the energy feels a little bit erratic and ruled by ego. This would be just like pleasure, passion. I'm not seeing, I'm like, quick incoming, quick leaving type of deal. You guys have different directions you're going, different things you want, but I could see like a sexual connection. Aquarius and Sagittarius, please. Aquarius and Sagittarius. Okay, um, actually, somebody here is very attracted. This could, act, this could be a good connection. There's a lot of passion and this is what I, I want to say that the masculine views the feminine as the ideal, like that is exactly the type of woman I want, type of energy. So there is, this is very appealing to the eyes, I want to say. I'm having trouble with the words of what I want. <laughs> I, I don't know if there would be a huge amount of emotional fulfillment, but this is like a yes, that is a fine human right there. <laughs> with, all right, Aquarius and Capricorn, please. Aquarius and Capricorn. Um, a water sign could get in the way of this. I just see, or there could have been a water sign in, involved in the past. But I, yeah, I'm just seeing for some reason another person has to play in how this cycle closes out. I do feel like something is going to change in the connection. Um, um, Aquarius and Pisces, please. This has a lot of potential for family happiness here. There could be, um, one of the, the masculine energy could have been closed off in a little bit. I don't know, stubborn there. I'm seeing conflict in the past, but there could be a change to more happiness in the future. Definitely. Um, Aquarius and Aries, please. Aquarius and Aries. Okay, I see flirty communication, but there could be some sort of, this could end in a, in a blocking for some reason. Um, there could be more than one person involved. Yeah, I'm seeing, yeah, this could be a third party situation because I'm seeing flirty communication and all of a sudden it's blocked. And somebody has is very bothered by an offer that's given to another person. So this kind of looks like a little bit of a mess. I initially see that closing out. Okay, Aquarius and Taurus, please. Um, there is potential for a new love coming in between Aquarius and Taurus. For some of you, this would be a new person. You would meet them at nighttime probably, and they would take you totally off guard. But there could be something about an air sign that they're not, that they don't really. Oh, well. 
Or maybe there's something about you that they find mysterious. I'm not exactly sure, but there's just something here that's not quite clear. But I do see potentially a Taurus coming in for you, a new Taurus. Um, Aquarius and Gemini, please. All right, this is mostly sexual, I feel like. There could be a sexual opportunity that comes up in the future between an Aquarius and a Gemini. Or potentially a new, potentially a new beginning if this isn't sexual. I'm seeing like ideas here. New ideas, passionate ideas. Aquarius and Cancer, please. Um, I think the Cancer is somebody that you could really see yourself being committed to or they would be willing to commit to you. Um, yeah, I see success in, in this union between you guys. That would be, that. that's something I could get down with. <laughs> Aquarius and Cancer. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's what I have for you. Bye-bye.